video is for those of you who are using ChemThink for the first time. And to use ChemThink, you have to be signed up by the teacher. And so when you enter my class, I need to enter your information into the system. So if you do not have, if, if your sign-on does not work after I have given you that sign-on, then you need to come back to me and have me fix it. So how do you get in? Your username is your last name. And this works, by the way, just like your grades work. When you're doing grades, or when you're looking to check your grades on my website, the, the username and password are exactly the same. So, username again is your last name. And it doesn't matter whether it's upper or lower case as you're typing that name in. If you have two last names or three or four last names, however many you have, you need to put all of those in exactly as they show up on your program. Now, password is all lowercase, and it's the first letter of your first name, and the second letter, or the first letter again, of your last name. So, first letter of first name, followed by first letter of last name, both lowercase. This is case sensitive, so if you don't do it lowercase, it won't work. The last part of your password is the last four digits of your student ID. So once you get those in, and I'll do an example for you of a sample student that I usually put in here, and that is going to be last name Jones, and I'm not going to bother with the upper lower case. And then I'm putting in, this is Jimmy Jones, so I put in JJ, and I'm just putting in any four numbers that I like. It has to be the four numbers, of course, that I put in that um, I'm not real anxious to share with you. Anyway, so let's go ahead and log in. And now you can see that your most current stuff over here on this list, if you can see that, okay, I'm highlighting it a lot with the contracting circles. But in here, you'll see the date that it's due, the assignment. Here's the activity, and it is due, the activity here on this column, and the due date here on this column. Due dates are always considered as 12 midnight. So that's the last time that you can have completed the assignment and have full credit. Now, if for any reason I gave you an assignment and it's not in this box, you can still find it over in this group of, of uh, icons over here. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at Ionic Bonding Tutorial. Well, you can see there's an Ionic Bonding Major Category, and then you'll see Ionic Bonding and Ionic Formula. Well, we want to do Ionic Bonding because that's what the assignment is, not the formulas there for. And now we have a tutorial and a question set. And the way that this site works the tutorial should always be done before you take the uh, questions, but both are always assigned. So after you've read this screen, you want to go forward and start doing the tutorial. And this particular slide is one where you have to do something. And what they want you to see here, of course, is that negative charges push each other away and then you're good to go to the next one. And you should read every screen completely and include that in your notes, okay? Uh, I, don't, I don't like you doing word for word because it takes longer to write it. And when you summarize, you learn more. So always summarize and do it, do it slide by slide. And you can see this one, uh, if you look up here, it'll tell you how many slides there are for this particular tutorial. And so you just go on, again, you read what's up in this area, and then you come down here, and you do what it says to do. Now, in this one, of course, you got plus to minus. You can see if you get fairly close, it'll start coming together on its own. The other way, of course, you can do it is to break it apart and just come straight in, and that will go a little bit faster. But I, I like doing it the other way around. And then you're good to go after you've read and recorded 
what you see in the in the uh, directions up there because that's what the tutorial is all about and the animation is there to help set the learning okay so oppositely charged attract each other blah 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 and away you go when you finish this you can uh, or I'm not I'm not going to finish it I'm gonna take the home key and it says here if you want to leave uh, the reason they're asking you that is if you don't want to leave and you do leave you'll have to start all over again same things happen when you're doing questions okay so let's go ahead and do the questions straight on from the assignment screen you'll see I see where my cursor is I can click here and that will invoke the ionic bonding questions and now I want to make sure you understand that here you must get 10 questions correct before you miss three that's the same for all of the question sets so you can try as many times as you want the only thing that's required is that you get 10 questions correct before you miss three so I hope you enjoy the ChemThink it's one of the best learning tools I've ever seen on the internet and I, I hope you get a lot out of it too and that's it folks I hope this helps.